Hello, systems thinkers. So this is a, uh, it's a philosophy, an opinion, a belief, a debate um, that I have had for many, many years, both internally with myself as well as externally. And that is the primacy of math. So a lot of my physicist friends are saying, uh, they say stuff like, you know, the universe is math. Math is the language of the universe. Um, and in fact, there are theories that say uh, explicitly Maybe the universe is literally made of math. Maybe the fundamental substrate of the universe is math. If we're, if, uh, if we're in a simulation world, if simulation hypothesis is true, then yes, the fundamental operating system of the universe is probably written in math. Um, now, that's only one hypothesis, one theory. Another thing, and I haven't been able to reconcile this, by the way. So anyone who tells you that it is definitively one way or another, they're wrong, because we don't know. So the other possibility is that math is only an approximation of reality, that no amount of math could actually create a, 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 a robust simulation of reality. And so in other words, is math a human invention or does it come before humans? That is another way of looking at this. So if math is strictly a human invention, then that is our symbolic attempt to model reality. Now, on the other hand, if math predates humans, if math is external to humanity and we discovered it, then what we are doing is we are approximating or working towards the fundamental language of the universe. It's completely an open debate as to which side it is. And holding both of those assertions is, <laughs> is math human or not? Is it universal or not? Like, that is, a, that is basically like the debate of the century of the millennia. And here's the thing that's really aggravating. We might never know. Depending on the context or the characteristics of the ontological container we're in, it might literally be impossible for us to discern one way or another. It depends on the nature of the system. So what I mean by ontological container, um, simulation hypothesis is an example of one kind of ontological container. That basically says we are in a simulation. Another ontological container comes from Hinduism, where everything that you see, hear, and feel is the content of a dreaming god, or made of Brahman, or whatever. And so there's all kinds of theories about what is our ontological container. What is the superset, what is the entire size, shape, scope, and dimensions of existence, of reality? So uh, if you look at it through dualism, materialism, monism, uh, panpsychism, those are all ways of describing the ontological container, but those are not necessarily types of ontological containers. And so basically, the question is, how does math relate to our ontological container? And as a systems thinker, we have to understand that there are different models, different theories, and different ways of characterizing our ontological container. So this is, <laughs> you're probably also like, wow, Dave, systems thinking is super philosophical. So, I mean, yeah, it is. If you, <laughs> once you get really to the bottom of it, and this is not to say that math is um, invalid. Math is incredibly valid, whether or not it represents the fundamental language of the universe. And even if it does, we are nowhere near that fundamental language. We have probably many layers of abstraction to go before math actually represents the real operating system of the universe. Um, and again, I'm <laughs> open for debate. I have not made up my mind one way or another. And again, we might never know. So anyways, I'm starting to repeat myself. I think you get the idea. The question of where does math come from? Is it a human invention or a human discovery? Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, because uh, it's, it's a non-trivial debate.